Good morning. Good morning. I'm here with Mr. Sim Shagaya of CEOConga.com. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thanks. So what's your opinion and what's your take on this you know, program that Business Day has on for today? Um, so uh, mobile money, um, the mobile money event, yes. I think it's, um, it's incredibly relevant. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's, uh, it's a good idea that um, a Business Day would be the one driving this because it has wide implications for the economy and for business and I think it's most relevant in that context. Um, I'm not sure the larger society fully understands the implications of the combination of those two sort of concepts, mobile and money, yes. and how transformative that's going to be on our economy, on retail, on trade, on agriculture, pretty much every facet of our economy, even you know the public sector. And, um, and I think it's a really good idea that Business Day is doing this and getting us together to think about these issues. Okay, as one of the pioneers in the e-payment industry because your business generally revolves around e-payment. Yes. What are the major challenges that you have faced and how have you managed to overcome these challenges? Yes. No, so I think it's still very early in terms of e-payments in Nigeria. That's the first thing we have to admit. But we're making a lot of progress and even as Congo we see that progress being made every day. The reason I say it's very early is if you if you if you look at us for for example as a business, something like seventy percent of our transactions which are getting very large now. You know, retail is growing very fast in Nigeria, and Congo is a retailer. We're growing especially fast, and something like 70, 80 percent of our transactions are pay on delivery, cash on delivery. Um, and so we have to uh, we have to handle a lot of cash. Um, it's our hope, and I think the reason that you know I'm here representing Congo is it's our hope as we go into the future that cash will start to reduce, and that some of the innovations we'll see in the realm of. Uh, mobile payments and mobile money and transactions will start to get rid of some of those problems. Okay, obviously everybody knows that you have succeeded. You're, you're still on your road to success, but you have succeeded to a great extent. So what advice do you have to young entrepreneurs out there that, that want to go into something that nobody has ventured in Nigeria? Yeah. What advice do you have for them to keep them moving? Sure. Um, so advice for young entrepreneurs. Um, I would say the first thing is that there's probably no better place in the world today. It's kind of, people say this so much, it's kind of becoming cliche, but it's very true. There's no better place in the world today to be starting a business. There's so much opportunity in Nigeria. Um, even as a business, um, Congo has so many needs, things we look for that we just can't find in Nigeria. So I would say that um, the environment is really good. Um, Unfortunately, with entrepreneurship comes um, a certain amount of failure. I think many times they say you fail sort of uh, on average of 2.5 times before you get it right. So I really urge these young people um, to be persistent uh, and to be patient and to keep pushing. And that's very difficult because the young people of Nigeria probably have it hardest than the young people of, you know, anywhere in the world. Um, so, you know, you really have to persist. You just have to keep pushing. Um, and, uh, yeah, that would be my best. Thank you very much, sir. It's been a pleasure. My pleasure.